What's going on everybody? It's the Black Speed and I'm here for what I like to call the Simple Review. Rigid Force Alpha. If you're in the market for a side-scrolling shoot-em-up that begs you to keep that bullet stream at the ready, then look no further than Rigid Force Redux. Rigid Force Redux takes the all-too-familiar gameplay of games such as R-Type and gives it a smooth arcade feel. Coming back for another round, but with updated graphics and an enhanced feel, Rigid Force Redux takes the formula from Rigid Force Alpha and gives players something more to not just look at, but shoot at. This game has been completely revamped using the Unity engine and gives players a more satisfying polish of sound, frame rates, interfaces, and much needed difficulty. The moment your ship flies onto the screen, you're met with an easy to follow tutorial. You learn the basics of the game while getting a feel for how you'll navigate the atmospheric landscape. The controls are easy to follow, quick to respond, and offer varied styles of play. For instance, you can shoot behind you as well as in front of you at the push of a button, which offers an interesting perspective on how you position your ship. You'll be able to absorb enemy firepower, unleash devastating special moves, and use a variety of different weapon types as you fly from stage to stage. Once you get a feel for the controls, you're left with destroying various ships with your newfound knowledge. This function may use a large part of your energy, but it can save you from many desperate situations. You'll follow along a story, which for some may come and go far too soon, but ultimately does the job of keeping pace with steadiness of your destruction. Sai, the main voice you'll hear throughout the game, constantly booms and speaks of various different hazards and situations you'll find yourself in, and will even help in making sure you don't do too much damage to your ship with various warnings. The element that really makes this game shine is the gameplay. You are given various different weapons that come with multiple levels of power-ups. They are all upgradable, and you will soon find that you prefer one type of weapon over the other. Much like real life, it was user error that I didn't realize that picking up certain colored power-ups in the sky actually changed your weapon type, and not that it was hiding away somewhere, waiting for me to cycle through. It was also user error, over the course of dying multiple times, that I should be using my defensive skill and expelling energy to absorb enemy firepower, rather than just constantly using my powered-up shots. All of this was a growth period I found myself enjoying, and I couldn't wait to see what next boss I would face. Speaking of bosses, I was very much impressed with how different the bosses were. Not just in their appearance, but in their firing patterns, aggressiveness, and uniqueness. They added an element to the story to help keep it fresh and interesting, without being too challenging that you'd want to quit. After various animated cutscenes and well-designed boss fights, you will find yourself at the credit screen wondering what to do next. There are other modes, such as the boss rush mode that lets you defeat bosses as quick as you can to compare scores, and the arcade mode that allows you to go for that high score over all else in the world. The leaderboard is a way of comparing yourself against all others playing the game, adding a sense of competition the game otherwise wouldn't have. There are also 40 unlockable achievements with new illustrations that adds to the game's replayability in the hopes of unlocking them all. Overall, shoot 'em ups are a genre that seem to never get stale, and Rigid Force Redux is no exception. Although I wish it were longer, you're sure to enjoy exactly what it has to offer. You can find it on both the Nintendo Switch and Xbox One for a modest price point, and I feel you will have just as much fun playing as I did. <laughs>